Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on the all new Flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. Welcome to a special Halloween edition. I'm so excited to do this. We're gonna be touching on making eyes black in Photoshop. Some really cool things, and you guys can do this to any one of your images. Um, probably a good idea if they started off a little bit scary to begin with. You probably wouldn't wanna do this on a picture of your dear old mother, but if you did, we're gonna show you how to do it in Photoshop. All right, so here's our image for today. It's a really cool image, nice and scary, and we're gonna make it a lot scarier. Now, there are a couple of things you wanna keep in mind when you're trying to try to make someone's eyes black in Photoshop. The first thing to look at is what's called a catch light. And I'm zooming in here, basically looking at the light that's reflecting in a person's eye. We've got a light here from a softbox and maybe like a reflector here on the left and a little bit here on the right. Now, without those catch lights in the original image, you're not gonna have a great chance of actually making this look good so make sure they're there if they're not there you could probably copy them from a different image but if you're taking an image and you want to do it specifically for blacked out eyes make sure you can see those catch lights in the eyes that's what's going to really help make it realistic so the first thing we're going to do is just grab a black paintbrush i'm going to hit, grab a new layer and with a brush tool i'm going to hit d for the default colors and we're just going to start painting with black right over top of the eye so this is really nothing very fancy here. Now I'm gonna go pretty much to the edge of the eye. I'm not worried about the eyelid just yet. We're actually gonna take care of that with a different technique. And I'm not worried about any of the hair or anything that's above the eye. Right now, really all I wanna do is just paint black right over top of all of the eye. There we go. So that's one eye. Let's go ahead and jump over to the other one. And come on down. You can see I'm doing a pretty quick job with this. This is not something you need to take forever on. All right, there we go. And here's the second die, nice and black. Okay, now we wanna create a transition because if an eye is white, then the eyelid right under it is actually gonna be reflecting that light color. But if an eye were black, the eyelid under it would reflect a darker color. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to bring that transition into the eye. So to do that, we're gonna create an adjustment layer. We're gonna to go to adjustments and then down here to curves and click it right here in the middle of our curves adjustment layer and just drag this down. All right, that looks great. Let's go ahead and close that. I'm gonna hit command I on that layer mask. And now with the soft edge brush, we're gonna paint white on our layer mask, pretty much covering up this area here. Now, this is much different from actually just painting black. And the reason is because it's gonna take the existing colors that's there and just make them darker. You're not just placing black over top of whatever's on your image. It's gonna make it look a lot more realistic. All right, there we go, that's one eye. Let's go ahead and cover the other eye. So you can see it just kind of fades right to the black, but it's gonna look a lot more realistic rather than just painting black right around the edges. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, if it's too dark, you can always go back to your curve adjustment layer and lighten it up a little bit. In this case, I think we'll do that. All right, that looks great. So we've effectively made the eye black, but it doesn't look real. It looks totally fake and it looks really bad. And the reason is because there's no depth in the eye. So what we need to do is actually create a highlight over top of the eye to give us that depth and make it look like it's that actually a shiny eye that's there instead of just a black hole. So to do that, what we're gonna do is basically just turn off both of these layers, go back to your original picture of the eye, and then we're gonna go over to our channels. Now to get to channels, just go to window and down here to channels. Okay, now I've already created these. Let's just go ahead and delete these channels here. All right, what we're gonna do is look at our red channel, our green channel, and our blue channel. You wanna find the channel that has the greatest difference between the highlights in the eyes and the rest of the eye. And most of the time that's going to be the blue channel. So let's just duplicate the blue channel over to the new channel. And now we're gonna use levels to make sure that this actually looks how we want it to. So Command or Control L will bring up our levels. Our goal here is to make the eye a bit darker. So we're gonna click here and make this a bit darker. And then we're gonna make our highlights a bit lighter. So really we're looking for something like this, which has a really nice contrast between these light areas, which are the highlights or the reflections in the eyes, and the dark areas, which is the rest of the eye. And that looks great. This is exactly what we need. Don't worry about this part of the eye, the, uh, the white part of the eye, just what's inside the pupil. Now we need to make that white into a selection. So I'm gonna hold Control or Command and click right here on the thumbnail. That's gonna turn the light areas into a selection. It's effectively just selecting our highlights. So now with our selection made, we're gonna go back to our layers. And here I'm gonna turn these layers back on. It's basically gonna black out the eye again. 
And now we're going to make a new layer above that. And I'm going to use my brush tool. And basically, I'm just going to paint white with my brush tool. And now, basically, I'm just drawing in the highlights from the eyes, paying attention to not go too far. If I start drawing in the sides of the eye, well, we lose the whole black eye effect. I'll go ahead and do that. We'll just use layer mask. Let's go to our other eye and show you what we're going to be doing here. So again, just focusing on getting the highlights from the eyes. And this is what it's going to help to make it look real. Let's deselect. If you did go a little bit too far out of balance, like I did in this case, just grab a layer mask and then paint black on your layer mask just right outside of here. Again, your goal here is just to have this visible on the inside of the pupil. There we go. And there we can see our eyes are blacked out. But because we actually have this detail, it makes them look a lot more realistic. There's one more detail we're going to take care of, and that's grabbing a brush tool and painting over any hair or anything that would be on top of the eye. So let's go ahead and create a new layer. I'm going to zoom in here, and then we're going to grab the brush tool, and I'm going to create a really small edge brush right now, just a very small brush that's about the size of this hair. And if you remember, the hair originally kind of like came down here and went over there. I'm basically just going to continue that on, you know, like it was going to, you know, do that to begin with. Just like, you know, make it look like these are actually just really hairs that, you know, did fall along. You can be surprised. You can create hair with a brush tool and no one will be able to tell the difference, I promise. There we go. So pointing that place that basically above the black eye makes the eye look like it was actually black and the hair is above it. Now I'm actually going to draw a couple little highlights here as well. Like, you know, pretending that these might be highlights for, um, let's say, the eyelashes, things like that. There we go. And that's going to help it make make it look a little bit more real as well. So again, we're adding this depth over top of the eye. If you need to put a little bit of a blur to make this look realistic, just go to your Gaussian blur and just a little bit of blur is going to help it blend exactly right where it needs to go and make it look like it's over top of the eye. And that's it guys, really simple to do and super effective. Let's take a look at the before and after. Here's our before and our after. Thanks so much for watching Florin, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode learning how to black out eyes in Photoshop. If you like what we're doing here at Florin, Florin, I can't even say the name of my own company, just hit the subscribe button on your screen. You can get free Photoshop and photography tutorials every single week. And if you have an idea for the new episode or a comment about this one, please leave it in a comment right down below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and have a great Halloween. I'll Florin you later. All right, now we need to turn that into a selection. So to do so, I'm gonna hit now we need to make that into a... All right. Damn, there's so much in here. It's amazing. Oh, I'm gonna smoke Wonderland. What's that? A horror. Ooh, ha, 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 ha.